This is Let's Talk with Liz and I am Liz. Hey everyone, I'm so glad you're here today. We're diving into a topic that we don't always talk about enough, spiritual warfare in modern times. Now, before you start imagining something out of a movie, let's get real for a second. Spiritual warfare isn't just some far off supernatural concept. It's something we're all dealing with daily in subtle ways. Whether we realize it or not, the spiritual battles around us are very real. Let's start with a scripture that really sets the stage. Ephesians 6.12 says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Think about that for a moment. Our struggle isn't with people or politics or even the things we see in the physical world. It's a spiritual battle and it's happening right now in ways we might not even be aware of. So how do we recognize spiritual warfare in today's world? Well, it doesn't always show up in obvious ways. It's not just about big dramatic events. Sometimes it's the quiet doubts that creep in, the fear that seems to come out of nowhere, or the distractions that pull us away from our walk with God. The enemy is subtle. And in our modern world where we're constantly bombarded with information, entertainment, and noise, it's easier than ever for the enemy to slip in unnoticed. One of the biggest ways I see spiritual warfare playing out today is through division. We live in a time where everything is polarized, families are divided, churches are divided, nations are divided, and I believe the enemy is using this division to weaken us. Jesus told us in Matthew 12, 25, every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined and every city or household divided against itself will not stand. The enemy knows that if he can divide us, he can conquer us. So what's the solution? How do we fight back against spiritual warfare in modern times? First, we have to stay grounded in the word of God. This is not a time to be spiritually lazy. The enemy thrives when we're disconnected from scripture, when we're not spending time with God. Ephesians 6 talks about putting on the full armor of God, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, and so on. But how can we put on the armor if we're not even aware we're in a battle? It starts with recognizing that every day we need to be intentional about staying close to God through prayer, reading the Bible, and surrounding ourselves with other believers. Another area where we see spiritual warfare is through distraction. Let's be honest, we live in a world of constant distraction. Social media, the news, entertainment, it's all vying for our attention. And while none of these things are inherently bad, they can become tools that pull us away from God. The enemy doesn't need us to turn away from God outright. He just needs us to be too distracted to notice that we're drifting away. That's why it's so important to be mindful of where we're spending our time and energy. And let's not forget about fear. Fear is one of the enemy's favorite weapons. Whether it's fear about the future, fear of failure, or even fear about things beyond our control, fear can paralyze us. But here's the truth. God hasn't given us a spirit of fear. 2 Timothy 1.7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. When fear tries to creep in, we need to remind ourselves of this truth. We have power. We have love. And we have a sound mind given to us by God. So how do we fight this battle? How do we stand strong in the face of spiritual warfare? It starts with understanding that the battle is already won. Jesus has already claimed victory over sin, death, and the enemy. Our job is to walk in that victory, to stand firm, and to not let the enemy steal our joy, our peace, or our purpose. And we do that by staying close to God, by praying without ceasing, and by putting on the full armor of God each and every day. At the end of the day, spiritual warfare isn't something to be afraid of. It's something to be aware of. Because when we're aware, we can be prepared. And when we're prepared, we can stand firm in the face of any attack, knowing that our strength 
comes from the Lord. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I hope this message encouraged you and gave you something to think about. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe for more faith-centered discussions. Let's keep our eyes on Jesus, stay grounded in the word, and be vigilant in these modern times. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.